So we're going to try to find the equation of a plane. Um, and it's a little different from the equation of a line because uh, you can see that I've, I've kind of drawn a plane uh, here, uh, or at least what we use to represent them. And uh, there are an infinite number of vectors in the plane. Um, so unlike a line, we can't really use a vector in the plane to define the plane because you can see with the ones that I'm drawing here, um, they're all in the plane, but there are so many of them, and uh, they don't really have a relationship to each other other than being in the plane. Um, so when you're dealing with a plane, what you do is um, we take something else. We take a vector that's actually orthogonal to the plane. Um, so let me try to draw that for you. So orthogonal to the plane. And what happens is if we take um, this vector that we just drew, or any vector orthogonal to the plane, and we do the dot product of, of this vector and this vector, we know that we're going to get zero because um, they have to be orthogonal to each other. Uh, this vector and this vector, it'll be zero. And in fact, if we take uh, this vector and dot product it with any vector in the plane, um, we're definitely going to get zero. So the whole basis of what we're going to do is to really find a vector that's orthogonal to the plane, and then we'll be able to um, use that. So the equation of a plane is based on the dot product. Which uh, is good. Because we know a lot about the dot product. So um, the equation is based on the dot product. And let's say that we know that, um, uh, whoops, that x, y, z is a point in plane, in the plane. And that we know that x0, y0, z0 is, um, so x, y, z is a point in the plane, but it's a generic point. We don't actually know the point. And x0, y0, z0 is um, a specific point in the plane. And let's say that we um, also know that the vector n which is, uh, let's say, A, B, C, is um, orthogonal to the plane. So then the equation that we get here is um, I want to make a vector between um, this and this. And then the dot product of the vector that I get there is... Um, with this vector is going to be zero. So that's what I'm going to try to do. Um, so the vector is uh, x minus x zero, y minus y zero, and z minus z zero. And if I dot product with n, I'm going to end up with zero because they're orthogonal. And that, if I actually do the dot product, ends up giving me a times x minus x0 plus b times y minus y0 plus c times z minus z0. And then that equals 0. Um, and that's, uh, I mean, both of these are equations of a plane. Um, this is the one that people usually kind of jump to. So we need a vector that's orthogonal to the plane, and we need a point in the plane. And then uh, this uh, kind of feels like point-slope form of a line, I think, um, right here. And uh, so I don't expect you'll have a problem with that, but that's where we're going to go with this. So um, hopefully it makes some sense when we do an example next. Okay, so what we're going to do here is try to find the plane that's equidistant from uh, the point 259 and the point 673. So um, if you want to imagine that, imagine taking a piece of paper, um, maybe a piece of paper. And uh, if you took your pencil and you just kind of drove it through the paper until it was uh, kind of halfway through. 
um, the paper would be the plane that we're looking for. Um, so what we need is, really, we need a point in the plane. Um, so that'll be the midpoint. So uh, point in plane is the midpoint. So uh, I'm going to do 2 plus 6 is 8 divided by 2 is 4. 5 plus 7 is 12 divided by 2 is 6. And 9 plus 3 divided by 2 is 6. I need a normal vector. So a normal vector is perpendicular to the plane. So if you think about the uh, scenario I told you to imagine with your pencil being driven through the paper, your pencil is obviously perpendicular to the paper when you drive it through. Um, so actually if we just find the vector between these two points, um, in which I'm going to use this as terminal point, and then this is the initial point. So that'll give me a 4, and then a 2, and then negative 6. So now I can write the equation of the plane. And it is 4, and x minus 4. I'm not very good at writing minus signs with this thing. Plus 2, and y minus 6, and then minus 6, uh, z minus 6, and then that has to equal 0. And that's the equation of the plane that is equidistant from uh, these two points. So that's our equation of this plane. Um, all right, so I hope that's kind of helpful as an example of how to write the equation of a plane in this specific case.